My name is Jenna Hamshaw. I write a blog called The Full Helping, and I'm also a cookbook author. I've written three books. The first is called Choosing Raw, the second is called Food 52 Vegan, and my most recent book is called Power Plates. My career in food and nutrition happened completely by accident, and really it all just started with a love of food and an interest in nutrition. I think some of the details that make this dish unique are just the combination of flavors. It's a lot of different tastes in one dish. The way this dish comes together is that you start by just preparing a bunch of baked sweet potatoes. I prick them with a fork, I put them in the oven, and I let them cook while I start to get ready with the lentils. This dish is inspired by my love of anything involving sweet potatoes, which are my favorite. I wanted to combine some sort of Middle Eastern or North African inspired lentil dish with sweet potatoes and just see what I could come up with. I start by boiling the lentils to get them nice and soft and ready to go. That usually takes about 20 minutes. I'm super impressed with how quickly water boils on the induction cooktop. I hate waiting for water to boil and I cook a lot of beans and grains and pasta and things that require boiling water. So to have the water boil pretty much within minutes is huge. I usually serve this dish with plenty of dressing, plenty of fresh herbs on top, and then usually with just like a great side salad. So sometimes I'll do an arugula salad with pomegranate seeds and a vinaigrette and keep it simple and call it a day. Sometimes I will serve it with a roasted vegetable like roasted cauliflower. And then I prepare the rest of the filling. So I start by sauteing some onion in olive oil with some cumin seeds for flavor. I throw in some garlic and ginger and tomatoes, and then I add a bunch of spices, including harissa paste and um, some smoked paprika, some cinnamon. And then I fold in the lentils. I fold in some spinach for just a little bit of extra nutrition and some green and some color in the meal. And I add the pomegranate molasses to the lentils at the very, very end. I write a blog called The Full Helping about vegan recipes and cooking and food and my relationship with food. And I think one of the challenges that faces people when they go vegan or vegetarian is that they're not quite sure how to achieve that sort of complete meal with plant-based ingredients. And they sort of wonder about that, like, is this a complete meal? Is there enough protein here, etc. So I wanted to create 100 recipes that each were complete and sort of could stand on their own. You can serve a lot of the recipes in the book with a salad or some sort of extra vegetable if you want to, but they do each have a source of protein, a source of complex carbs, and a source of healthful fat. There are lots of ways you could alter this dish and make it your own. You could use a different kind of bean in the filling. You could use a different type of lentil as well, so I usually just use green or brown here. And of course, you can take the lentil filling and serve it any way you like. After taking a bite of this dish, I hope people feel comforted and satisfied. Those are the things I always want people to feel when they eat my food in general. I want them to feel filled up. I want their appetites to be met, but I also want them to feel comforted. Yum. <laughs>